Hello guys, in this video I want to cover three interesting topics related to IT salaries in Germany 2024. First one, I will give you top five of the best and worst paid IT roles in Germany. Another one, I will give you top five of the best paid industries. And the third topic, we will cover how much people got the salary increase. This video is based on Berlin's salary trends 2024, which is provided by Handpicked Berlin. I will leave the link on this report in the description to this video. Kudos to those guys. If you are working in IT area in Berlin, this community definitely worth following. And now to the topics. First of all, let's see best paid IT roles in Germany. So here is the chart for you and you see that solution architects are expectedly paid the most. Another interesting thing is site reliability engineers. They are going on the second place with the median salary of 100,000 euro annually. What those guys are doing? Those guys are responsible that your application or your service will work no matter what happens. Earthquake near your data center. Mars invades the planet no matter what. It has to work and site reliability engineers are responsible for that. And on the third place goes strategist. Frankly speaking, I never heard about such positions before and I immediately started to Google it. I found out that those guys are actually responsible for choosing the most money and performance effective technology for the company, for the business. They are mostly working with slides, not with coding or with some admin consoles. Of course, I understand choosing a technology for a business, it's a job of a very big responsibility. So. Okay, I understand why those guys are getting such high salaries. And in the fourth place, we see data engineers. By the way, I want to say that this IT roles currently is skyrocketing and it's mostly related to the mm, popularity of everything related to AI things. And on the last place, we have product manager. I stress here, not project, but product manager. Yeah, basically this is expected. And now let's see top five from the bottom worst paying IT positions. Here is nothing to comment. You see everything on your screens. The only thing I want to sympathize with project managers. I think this is uh, the position in IT which sucks most because you see the salaries are not very high and uh, you are the person who is blamed for everything. But before we finish this section, I want to show you yet another visualization. This is distribution of the salaries and you see some positions have a really big spikes where they are getting x2 or x3 to the median salary. I think you understand what it means. If you are good in what you are doing, there is a big chance that you will get such a big salary somewhere. And now let's quickly see the top five paying industries. On well, the first place in construction is the pretty much expected, but what surprised me the most is the second and third place. Frankly speaking, I expected to see there something from healthcare, probably cryptocurrency or something like this. But numbers are numbers. You see that the retail and wholesale trade are paying on the second place. And the third one is the transportation and storage. Yeah, okay, they have these numbers and yeah, just for you to know about it. And now the third section. Let's see how much people actually got salary rise between 2023 2024. Why it's important to see because as you know, in 2022 2023, Germany has been struck by a pretty significant inflation. And it was very interesting if that gap has been compensated. And now you see this pie chart. You can pause the video to study those numbers more precisely. But basically, I guess the situation generally sucks currently in this year. But what is more interesting is to see the situation with salary increase in 2025. Because if more people will get salary increase, that will mean that companies are starting to get their incomes back. And uh, it will be the basically the sign that the German economy is really recovering. So this video has been based on Berlin IT salary strands 2024, which is provided by handpicked Berlin. Those numbers actually represent people who are working in IT area in Berlin. And of course, I understand they cannot represent very precisely what is happening in Germany in general. But since we're speaking about trends here, I think that the trends are described pretty much correctly. And if you want to know more about German IT market, what is happening here, I think one of the videos that you will see right now will give you more insights on the topic.